Hello, my name is Westman and today I'm going to show you how to make the CC Mr. Mercury effect loop. We are going to create this and this is a 4 second seamless loop using nothing more but Mr. Mercury, uh, the glass effect and the CC plastic effect. I am using After Effects CS6. Okay, in After Effects I'm going to select Composition, New Composition. Let's call it Mercury. The loop I'm going to make is 4 seconds. But because we're going to loop this, it needs to be a bit longer. And I go for 8 seconds. And uh, click OK. OK, right click, make a new solid. So be sure it's a white color, so later we can color it. And uh, click OK. Next we're going to the effects and presets and type in Mercury and apply CC Mr. Mercury by simply left clicking and dragging it on the composition. If I now drag my time indicator you can see the effect. Now I don't want this effect to fall down like this. So to fix that I'm going to set the gravity to zero. And if I now slide through my composition you will see it moves out with a bang. Ok, now we're going to tweak some values to uh, make it look like we like it. I'm going to increase the birth rate, I set it to 2, double click, press 2, press enter. So now everything is a bit thicker. And for this animation I pick the animation twirly look, because I think it looks pretty cool. Ok, now for the looping part. Normally you would hunt for the evolution pin or the cycles pin. The CC Mr. Mercury doesn't have one, so that's why I'm making this tutorial. And also, when you look at the beginning, you see there's nothing and then it grows slowly. Now, we're going to use this weird growing effect to make our animation loop. Let's scrub to the 4 seconds mark, because that's going to be the end of our loop. And now we set a keyframe to the birth rate. Then I press the page down button to move up one frame. And I set the birth rate to 0. And if I now scrub to my timeline, you will see that the blobs die off slowly. And this is exactly the result I was looking for. Now let's scrub through the time and let's find the frame where the last blob dies off. So I think for me that's around here. This frame we got no more blobs, so this is where I want to be. Now I'm going to make my work area smaller, so I'm going to drag my work area end slider to the left and if you hold down the shift key it will snap to the current time indicator and if I now right click on the work area and select trim comp to work area I made my composition exactly this long. So let's see what we got, I press 0 to do a quick ramp preview and uh, the blobs grow and the blobs die off. The Ok, to loop this we need a new comp, so let's, uh, let's make one. Go to composition, new composition. Let's call this loop mercury, because that's what it's going to be. And for the duration I'm now going to give it 4 seconds, because I want my loop to be exactly 4 seconds. Background is black, that's perfect, and I click OK. Go to the project, and I drag in my mercury composition. Now let's drag the time indicator to somewhere in the middle. Now we're going to split this layer, so we're going to edit, split layer or control shift D if you're working with shortcuts. And now we have two mercury comps and they are split in half. Now the trick to loop this is to reverse the comps. So I take the top one and I slide it to the left, holding down shift. It will snap, snap to the beginning and I take the lower mercury layer and I drag it to the right, holding down shift, it will snap to the end. And in theory we got a perfect loop now. So let me press 0 to do a quick RAM preview. And here is our CC Mr. Mercury loop. Ok, now it's time to make it look cool and uh, color it a bit. I'm gonna select both layers, right click and select pre-compose. Let's call it uh, the pre-mercury, because that's what it is. And let's hit OK. Now, there are many ways to make this look cool, because now you got your loop and you can do whatever you want. In my example, I have add CC glass, 
to the project to give it some depth. So let's apply it. And next I added the CC plastic effect. Twirl down the light options and select using After Effects lights. So now it uses the light on our composition. We don't have any lights yet, so let's make two. I right click, new, new light. And this is going to be my main light. Let's pick a color. I'm going to make it a bit orangey. Click OK. Click OK. And let's drag it all the way back from a distance. So our hotspot isn't that big anymore. And uh, also let's move it to the left and down a bit. And let's add another light for the edges. So one new light. Gonna make this bluish. I also gonna increase the Z value and I'm gonna move it to the right and up. Of course, I need to rename it. And for the love of Mr. Kramer, I'm going to drop a vignette in. So I'm gonna make a new solid. Gonna make it very dark blue. Select the ellipse tool and double click on it. And press F for feather. Let's pick, I don't know, 200 pixels. And we're gonna put this vignette. We're gonna put this vignette below our main composition. And here we have Mr. Mercury do a four second loop for us. So let's preview this and see how cool it looks. Our own four second seamless loop. Using the same technique, I uh, previously also made a star field. I just decreased the size of the blobs a bit. And here is another example I did before. I'm using the exact same composition as we, uh, as we just made. I only add a little bit of wiggle to my name. So uh, my name is Wesbem. I hope you learned something and thank you for watching.